Yes, hi, it's me. It's the great one himself, Cynical Libertarian Society. I was just, as I was warming up the recorder here, checking the stats over at the site, and I see that the Cynical Libertarian Society has been linked to in the blog roll of Apocalypse Cometh, apocalypsecometh.com, one of... One of, in my opinion, if you're going to read blogs on the internet on a regular basis, and I, I've talked about this before, Apocalypse, Apocalypse Cometh is a must-read blog. The stuff, God, what the hell is his name? He used to go under the moniker of Bill Powell. And by the way, this is not the subject of today's anarchy moment. This is just me chasing squirrels. Shiny object. Ooh, ooh, no attention span. Ooh, college girl. Yes, anyway, the hell is his, I can't remember his real name now. It's completely escaping me. But he used to post under the name Bill Pal. The blog, again, is apocalypsecometh.com. Oh, it's fucking brilliant. It is absolutely fucking brilliant. If you enjoy Cynical Libertarian Society and my style and those things I talk about, I'm not gonna, I don't know if he's an, uh, oh, C, I, I think his name is C.M. Sturges. I could be completely full of shit. Don't quote me on that. Anyhow, I don't know if he's a full-blown ANCAP, but he has incredibly strong ANCAP tendencies. If he's not an outright ANCAP, he's like 97% there. Anyway, fucking brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, fucking brilliant. Go read his blog. Now, what was I going to talk about? Oh, yes. Ugh, doing an anarchy moment today because I don't have time for an STO because I'm busier than shit. All of a sudden, fucking shit just explodes everywhere. And, like, good shit. Chasing girls and making money and doing stuff. So anyway, it's all good shit, but I don't have a lot of time. I recently got some comments over on the YouTube. By the way, if you're listening to this on YouTube, just want to remind you that the YouTube channel is always way, way, way behind the actual podcast. So if you want the latest and greatest, you got to go to the podcast, get it on Stitcher. You can get it via the website. It's not on iTunes because iTunes wants you to give them a credit card number in order to list your podcast on their fucking iTunes store. And I'm not giving Apple Computer my fucking credit card number just to have my fucking i my fucking iPod, my fucking podcast listed on iTunes. Fuck Apple Computer. Fuck Apple Corporation. Fuck the corporations. All right, anyway, over on the YouTube, I got some comments on one of my podcasts, the one where I talked about how being an anarcho-capitalist does not mean you have to be accepting of everything. So you can be an ANCAP and still disapprove of Christians or disapprove of homosexuals or disapprove of fat people or disapprove of whatever the fuck you want to disapprove of. Being an ANCAP just means that you can't violate their property rights and you can't initiate aggression against them. So I talked about all of that and something that I either left out or didn't think about talking at the time. So this is kind of a follow-up to that. I just want to throw this out as well. For those of you who need approval of other people. What the fuck is wrong with you? This whole thing we have in our society where there is all these special interest groups going around, well, you must approve of us. Like, no. No, nobody must approve of you. Let's just use, I don't know what, it, let's use, we'll use fat women. We could use homosexuals. We could use transgendered people. We could use... I don't know. We could we could, we could use femostatist. We could use whatever the fuck, but we'll just use who did I say? Oh, fat women. We're gonna use fat women just because fat women is a good demographic to piss off. So fat women are always going around and, and again, substitute whatever special interest group you want here. You could even you could even substitute ANCAPs if you like. In fact, you know what? Instead of picking on the fat women who are fat and are going to have unhappy lives because they're never going to get a quality man and because they're overweight and unhealthy and being unhealthy means more time dealing with a doctor and more time in hospitals, yada, yada, yada. Instead of picking on fat women because fat women are already cursed enough by being fat, let's talk, we'll use ANCAPs as an example. 
So let's say you're an ANCAP. If you're going throughout your life going, well, I'm an anarcho-capitalist and I believe in the non-aggression principle and I believe in property rights and I try to live my life according to those things and I need other people to approve of me being an anarcho-capitalist. Well, no. No, you see, here's the thing. Other people don't have to approve of you being an ANCAP. Nobody, nobody out there, no fucking statist, no FEMA statist, no GLBT XYZ MYPNZ 764 SLID 7 said Z Z slash 47ers have to approve of you. Nobody at MSNBC needs to approve of you. Nobody at Fox News needs to approve of you. Nobody, nobody is obligated under the non-aggression principle or property rights to approve of the fact that you are an ANCAP. You, as an ANCAP or as anything else, you are not somehow or another entitled to approval. And if you think you are, you're delusional. Furthermore, if you require other people's approval for some reason, I mean, if you're an ANCAP, great. And so if being an ANCAP is so great, and, and this is one of the ways that you can tell, and now we're going to have to go back to making fun of other minority groups. I suppose ANCAPs are a minority group. We're a minority. We're a group. Of course, we're mostly heterosexual white men who work for a living, so we can't really be minorities. But anyway, if whatever you are, whatever you believe, whatever you're doing, whatever it may be, if you require approval of others, that indicates that what you are or what you're doing or what you believe or so forth or so on has flaws to it. So let me try to distill that a little bit. As an ANCAP, if other people don't approve of the fact that I believe in the non-aggression principle and property rights, well, it doesn't really matter. Right? The non-aggression principle is still a solid first principle from which to behave. Respecting property rights is still a solid first principle from which to behave, and I can still live my life happily as an ANCAP following those first principles, regardless of whether or not other people agree with me. I can do what I want to do in that sense of being an ANCAP and be happy and be complete, and it doesn't matter if other people approve. And of course, there's pretty sufficient evidence of that in the fact that I and every other ANCAP is living in a society where we are hated, where we are feared, and where a large portion of the population wants us to be murdered. And yet we continue to do this. We don't need your approval. So when you come forth and you say, oh, I need approval from other people, what you are saying is that you are somehow or another dependent upon other people and their approval. And without their approval, you are incomplete. So take, for example, fat women, the fucking fat movement, the, what do you, what, what's the fucking, the fat acceptance movement. That's the words I'm looking for. I have not, it's one o'clock. I got to be somewhere at four o'clock. I've had no food yet. Thank God I've had coffee. Otherwise I'd really be worthless because I've been working all fucking morning my ass off and my list is still huge, kind of like my cock. Anyway, the fuck was I talking about before I talked about my cock? See, I said, I talked about my cock and suddenly I have no idea what I'm talking about anymore. Oh, my brain hurts. Yes, fat acceptance. Okay, so the fat acceptance people, so the fat women say that being fat is the fucking greatest thing that, oh, they're so beautiful and they're fat and they're wonderful and they're so happy. Okay, then if you're so beautiful and happy and wonderful, why do you need other people to accept you? The very fact that you're saying people must accept that your fatness is beautiful and wonderful and healthy is probably a fucking indication that you know inside your fatness has a fucking problem attached to it. People who go through life needing acceptance for something are needing that acceptance because they are incomplete. 
I don't need acceptance in order to not initiate aggression against other people because not initiating aggression against other people is complete. I am complete. I am whole. I am confident in this. I am 100% certain that going through life and not initiating aggression against other people is the correct thing for me to do. It is the best choice that I can make and I don't need your fucking acceptance. But if you're a fat broad and you need people to accept you for being fat, what you're saying is that you're, you have problems, that you are incomplete unless people outside of you give you what you need to be complete. Same thing with the homosexuals and their need to legalize gay marriage, as I've said before. Why, if, if you own your own body, why do you need permission from the government to get married? Nobody should need permission from the government to get married. Doesn't matter if you're homosexual, bisexual, trisexual, monosexual, asexual, upsexual, downsexual, transsexual, gender sexual, uh, PP sexual, kitty cat sexual, doggy sexual, tree sexual, whatever kind of fucking sexual you are. You should not need permission from the government, nor should you need approval of other people. But the fact that homosexuals are running around screeching about how they need permission and how they need acceptance tells you, and it doesn't really tell you so much that there's something quote unquote wrong with homosexuality. It tells you there's something wrong with the people who need approval. Because certainly there are homosexuals who don't need approval from other people. Just like there are, I'm sure there are overweight women out there who don't go through their lives needing approval. So this is not to say that, you know, so if, if, if fat people or homosexuals or ANCAPs or Republicans, or Democrats, or Christians, or atheists, whatever it is, if those people are needing approval, that doesn't mean the problem lies in the, what's the word I need here? Lies in the state in which they're in. Okay, so example, if fat women are looking for approval, it doesn't mean that the fatness in itself is where the flaw lies. The flaw lies in the individual fat women who need approval, right? If you're an ANCAP and you are running around expecting all of your friends to approve of you being an ANCAP, well, then the fault doesn't lie in ANCAPism. The fault lies in you for needing and expecting approval and believing that other people owe you their approval. Okay, they don't. I mean, yeah, it would, and there's a difference too between approving something and I was going to use the word respecting, but I don't even think that's it. Just not, well, I mean, it really just comes back to non-aggression principle. It's like, for example, if you're a transsexual, I'll use a real example. You're a transsexual and you're having your penis chopped off or whatever they do, and you're having yourself transformed into a woman. Okay. See, I do not approve of that. I do not support you doing that in any active way, but in the same sense, in no active way do I have a desire to prevent you from doing this. As long as you're doing it to your body and as long as you're doing it with your money, which you're not because I'm sure Obamacare covers this and I'm paying for Obamacare. See, and that's where our problem arises. Our problem does not arise if you're a fat woman because you're fat. Our problem doesn't arise if you're having a sex change operation because you're having a sex change operation. Our problem does not arise if you're getting an abortion because you're getting an abortion. I don't have a problem with any of that. The part of that I as an ANCAP have a problem with is that you expect me to pay for those things. You expect me to work for a living and pay taxes, which the government will then use to pay for you to have what you want. That's where our problem lies. That is, if you were doing all of this stuff without my money, I would be, I would simply completely ignore that you're doing it. If we're walking down the street and I saw you and you said, yeah, I just got, I just had a sex change operation and then I got an abortion and now I'm going to go eat a bunch of ho-hos and get overweight. I'd be like, are you using any of my money to do that? You'd say, no. I'd say, great. Have a fucking wonderful time. In fact, you know what? I might come have a ho-ho with you and hang out. 
So it's the part where you're using my money to do this shit that I have the fucking problem. But if you need other people to accept you, you have a fucking problem. And as an ANCAP, I am not obligated to accept anything about anybody else. Just like nobody else, nobody else, nobody is obligated to accept anything about me. You don't have to accept a fucking thing about me. You don't have to like me. You don't have to accept me. You don't have to do jack shit. Except, don't initiate violence against me and stop using the government to steal my fucking money. <laughs>